Hello guys. Uh, so we've covered off the inf gear, range gear, calf gear, mix gear, and a little bit of formations. Now we're going to over the jewelry and how I choose what you to do. So if you want something with speed, right, that you don't use for any type of fighting, you'll be going with speed set. And speed dueling means you'll have champ duel and two you know, monster jewels to give you that 5% each HP with the 15 or 20% sorry giving you 30% plus whatever the piece gives you not all pieces are recommended but you know in monster gear it's sometimes efficient to jewel it that way so if I use something in mix set a lot of the times what I'll do is I will put a army jewel on that mix piece along with one of the main pieces that help with that blast and then try to work around it or if you don't have army jewels you'll end up going with whatever this multi-purpose is for that you know, piece of equipment. So a lot of the times, um, cups, right, they're shared. So the best way to do it would be to put an inf jewel, a range jewel, and a champion jewel, right? This way you can use this cup for range blast and range blast, right? Um, if you're just strictly for that blast, right? You go with your cap jewel, your Gantu jewel, your champ jewel, or you can also, instead of the champ jewel, you find some pieces that will have the type jewel. And that could be, let's see if I have one. I do not, so let's just make one. You'll see a lot of times it'll be jeweled like this. Right? And this will be the main jewels that you'll see. Nothing wrong with this. However, if you want a little bit more speed, putting a champ jewel, and if you have them lying around, it's a better way to go. Though you should focus your champ jewels first onto your mix set. That way that you can always have HP if for you happen to be rallied, right? Um, next would be a lot of times people get royal jewels from playing barons and stuff like that. So a lot of times you'll see the type attack, the gargantua, and then the type jewel, because this will also give you the HP. With that being said, you can also put this instead of the gargantua jewel, keeping your attack the same, but gaining 10% HP. That depends how important it is that you do more damage or have a higher chance of walking back. However, that boost, if you do it on all eight, you have to remember that's amplified times eight. So. If you have eight Royal Cavalry Jewels in all, or eight of your pieces of equipment for your calf set, that's 80% just from these jewels. However, you're losing 5% HP. So that would be 40% HP you're giving away for 80% more damage. So I know a lot of you will want to do more damage. So you'll likely be jeweled like this. If you have the uh, Dragon Arena Jewel, I don't believe I have one because it, uh, I just managed to get the Chaos Dragon. Uh, you can also replace that instead and it'll end up something with this attack. Uh, Baron Jewels will have 15 15, so sometimes it's helpful to use it on a piece of equipment that you use to a mix setup. Right? Um, and yeah, that's basically the simple of it, right? If you use that piece in more than one setup, and it's best to keep that set up mix so you don't have to rejewel. Rejeweling is not the cheapest, so I recommend try to work around your sets to keep them all the same. So, and then of course, in your construction setups, you can also get construction jewels, which are these. And onto your research, you can get research jewels, which are these colors. Little fun facts and Lunite, of course, can't forget about the Lunite jewels, but this account currently does not have any. So that's the quick jeweling guide and how to jewel properly. So if you guys have any questions, feel free to ask and I'll try to respond to them.